Good evening, everyone. Today we have reading session four, and our trainer for today is Mrs. Annapurna Murugan. These are a few instructions for you all. Make sure you have a stable internet connection and a noise-free environment, for which we recommend you to use your earphones for the best experience. Moreover, respect your instructor, your classmates, and yourself. Be respectful and professional, and do not write anything inappropriate in the chat box. Moving ahead. We have these three memberships at Grad for the students, which are bronze, silver, and gold memberships with some additional benefits as displayed on the screen. So for getting yourselves upgraded to any of these uh, three memberships, you can directly go on the website of Ubergrad and get yourselves upgraded there. Moreover, I will also share a coupon code with you guys in the chat box, using which you can easily upgrade yourself from basic to bronze membership at a very discounted uh, rate by just going on the website of Ubergrad, which I'll be showing later on. So we also have free profile evaluation, which is done by our experts, which consists of university shortlisting, course recommendations, country recommendations, which are made according to a student's academic strength, career objectives, future aspirations, course of study, and requirements. We also have recommendations report customized for the students according to their requirements and profile, and doubt clearance, regarding the study abroad process, which consists of shortlisting applications, scholarships, etc. So we have these uh, two free live classes, which goes on every week. So firstly, we have free live GRD classes, which goes on from Monday to Friday, 8.30 to 9.30. It's a two month course. Then we have free live Duolingo classes, which goes on from Monday to Friday, 6.30 to 7.30. It's a two week course. So for getting yourselves enrolled for any of these two live classes, you can directly go on the website of Ubergrad and get yourselves enrolled for it. Moving ahead, we also have one-on-one -on -one ALS classes. That is when you upgrade yourself to the gold membership. And it's just for rupees 5999. And you get benefits like 20 hours live classes, class recordings, daily class worksheets, 10 plus session tests, five full length mock tests. So it's a very good opportunity for you guys. If you are wanting to practice more uh, for your IELTS, you can always go on uh, for these um, extra mock tests uh, at a very affordable prices. So moving ahead, uh, we have these achievements of the students who got themselves enrolled at Ubergrad. Now I'll quickly show you the website of Ubergrad. All right, so this is the website of Ubergrad. Over here, you can explore a lot of information related to various countries, universities, courses, and examinations. We also have free profile evaluation for the students. Under free profile evaluation, you can always book your expert slot um, according to your available date and time. So it's always done by our experts. So it's a very good opportunity if you have any doubt related to anything, the process of applying or anything else, you can always uh, book the slot according to your uh, preferred date and time. Moreover, we also have a talk to a counselor option, AI country recommendations, AI course recommendations, Test preparation course consisting of live IELTS, live GRE, live Duolingo classes. Some additional services for the students uh, consisting of education loans, forex card, accommodation, international SIM, US credit card, US bank account, etc. And blogs are also uploaded. You can always go and check out these information that's there on the website of Ubergrad. Now, in order to upgrade yourself, as I mentioned that you can use the coupon code, which I'll be providing you for your upgradation from basic to bronze membership. So you can always go to this option of upgrade and upgrade yourself to the other memberships that is bronze, silver and gold. Now we also have recordings, handouts and the sessional tests of the various sessions and the, uh, which are conducted under various modules. So directly go on the website of Ubergrad, that is ubergrad.com. Go on to your name, my test preparation, go on to ALS Academy Comprehensive Live Classes course. On clicking on that particular option, this window would be displayed. Now, as you all know, we have four um, modules under IELTS, that is listening, reading, speaking, and writing. So for example, you want to access the recording of yesterday's session. So yesterday was basically reading session three. Directly go on reading, go on day three, since yesterday was day three for reading. 
And the first option is usually the access to the handouts of that particular session and the module. And the last recording is usually the current one. You can always access the other recordings as well. But if you want the current one, it's always in the last option. So when I clicked on that, it took me to uh, yesterday's recording, that is 20th of December. So in this way, you can access the recordings and the handouts of all the other uh, sessions and the modules. And after you complete each module, you can go and check out your progress uh, by just going and attempting the sessional tests that are um, curated for that particular module. Moreover, I will also uh, share a Telegram channel link with you guys in the chat box. Uh, clicking on that, you can uh, join the Telegram channel of IELTS. And over there also a lot of information is uploaded on a daily basis, which you can access. And mock tests are also there. But for more of them, for your practice, you can always access the other features, as I mentioned of. Um, that is one-on-one uh, -on -one IELTS classes in which you'll be getting five full-length mock tests. So now I'll hand over the session to our trainer for today, Mrs. Annapurna Murugan, ma'am. So ma'am, are you there? Hi. Uh, good evening, ma'am. Good evening. Take over. Thank you. Thank you. Hi, guys. Good evening. OK, so welcome back to our session. I hope everyone is doing good. Yes. Today we'll be discussing on a few more important. Good evening. Uh, good evening, everyone. Good evening. Yes. So let me present the screen. Yes. Just give me one second. I'm presenting the screen. OK. Here we go. So we discussed few types of question. We were supposed to do summary questions. OK, yesterday we did with uh, uh, this one, your, uh, what is that I can say? Our uh, fill in the blanks questions, yes, no, not given questions. So today, let us work on summary questions. OK, see, summary questions, what happens? You will be seeing that. So you will be having, what is that? Uh, a set of paragraphs, I can say. That means summary itself is what they will be trying to uh, uh, this one talk about or they will be basically taking uh, so one complete uh, this one what is that paragraph to describe many things or to talk about many uh, uh, different things here okay so this is how the summary question looks like so what happens usually usually students will just try to go through uh, these things and they try to gather all the information they try to go and search in the paragraph where they will be confused where so they feel uh, they will not be clear what exactly they want to do that is the reason so what i usually tell students is that you approach the summary question also in terms of what? So uh, in the way like you approach your uh, this one, what is that? Fill in the blanks. OK, so for example, I want you people to crack the summary. Crack the summary in the sense what? So break it, OK, break it into sentences. That means so you should know that why I'm saying this, break it into sentence. Now you may feel that, ma'am, if the ideas are connected, let it be connected. You should know one thing that if we are talking about a sentence, OK, if we talk about sentence, what that means, so that implies that one sentence will completely tell everything here okay so it will be telling everything so the complete idea will be described in this one particular sentence there okay so therefore now here we have just give me one second i'm logging on through your uh, this one one more device so that i can see your answers okay so just give me one second uh, it's said vichy Just one second, guys. Quickly, I'll log on. G Q N Q N. Okay. Okay. 
just just one second is it yeah now i can see you guys yes so yeah what do you need to first do so first you people need to so crack the sentence into individual sentences Cla crack the summary so into individual summaries so you yeah, see again you can see that i have not i'm not going through the passage anymore isn't it what i am doing here i am just trying to what so go to the question no matter what question it is okay what i do i just go through the question so and then according to the question requirement we are going to uh, go for the paragraph here so the first thing that i want you people to do here is usually they will give the indication from where the summary is extracted okay so either in the form of headings either they will give the headings or they will give you some kind of hint from which paragraph or what exactly they are describing here because most of the time you will be seeing that so it is not the complete thing okay it is not your complete uh, this one passage they will be summarizing it is only what it is just a few uh, paragraphs they will try to summarize so here what do we have we have complete the summary below write one word only from part a what you need to do you need to write only one word from part a that means your answer should contain only one word okay so what is that they have given you the indication from where the summary is there so this is part b that means you need to only refer this part for your this one what is that only this part you need to take up so for uh, summarizing here okay so therefore we got the spot where exactly we need to look for then what you do you try to take the sentences okay so like this you people so cross it so that you will not read everything together okay so how many sentences we have almost you can say we have six sentences okay so now wherever full stop is there i'm just marking there the slash so that i'll be first finishing that one and then i'll go for the next sentence now let us try to understand now how did you approach fill in the blanks just like that only you people approach here and tell me the answers okay just yesterday what we did so how did we approach our fill in the blanks just in the same way i want you people to approach here. so let us understand i will describe the questions i want you people to answer okay i'll explain what exactly the question idea is here okay the earliest museums displayed personal dash belonging to rich people so personal it could be things but what things what they have given so let us try to say so the earliest museums displayed personal dash belonging to uh, rich people and until the 18th century only the elite class could visit these places so what happened until the 18th century only the elite class could visit this places that means they displayed something that belongs to your so rich people and only the elite people could visit this places so let us go here okay so now let us see what so where we have go through the scanning process so the first museum worldwide private collections of object by wealthy people and institutions and this where so what is that they they are saying in the first paragraph only in the first sentence only you have the answer so tell me the answers guys private personal collection very good very good guys is collections collections or objects you can give either collections of objects see so simple it is 
but if you read the complete passage at one go and then go it will become difficult here isn't it so either you write collections personal collections your object objects okay both should be plural you need to have plural answer now in the later half of the century the british museum and the uffizi gallery opened their doors for dash but not without restriction so what happened here in the later half of the century okay in the later half of the century what happened british museum and uffizi gallery they opened their doors for the dash okay but not without restrictions okay so what did happen so they opened doors for someone but with restrictions get back to the paragraph and see so to whom did uffizi and british museum open the door so that you need to see i will not be showing so you people try to find it out where exactly it is okay so it is public i could see general public also here answer okay first museum to be open for general public were the british museums in london and this 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 however even though they were no longer exclusive places only people from middle class and uh, with the privilege written request okay that means what was the restriction they had to go with the written request yeah so now you guys tell me whether you will write public or general public what should be the answer what you will be writing okay i could see public yes you need to write only public why what is the instruction they have given one word only and also guys one more thing i would like to say here so when you people write also and when you people speak also you know what happens uh, we have this tendency of using redundancies like we say general public public itself is general people right so common people we call them public common people are general citizen general uh, people there so that means why we need to use double time general public there so these are redundancies we also say i reserved my tickets in advance that's also uh, redundancy only my reservation only what you are doing you are doing something you are booking something in advance why is that again we need to use the advance there so be careful about redundancy here that's the reason so here what it's only public you can't write general so it is only public that should be there finally in 1793 the louver in paris allowed access irrespective of class and dash and become a key factor in promoting national nationalistic emotions so now what happened finally in 1793 the lever in paris allowed access irrespective of class and something so they did not they allowed access so they did not care about the class and something and it became the free key factor in prom promoting nationalistic emotions now tell me here so paragraph a hmm post that you can see with a written permission request the visitations were often limited to yes it is age very good guys it is age year okay so see status is class okay we can take very nice so you people have given very correct answer status means the class but age is what that is what you need to write. see and how nicely i i am i am not just saying you people look at the answers but look at the way how they are paraphrasing so do you think they are using only the same sentence here they are not using the same sentences right so they are completely paraphrasing what happens you know so when you people approach these paragraphs or these passages in your real exams so you will be first of all under pressure exam pressure so what happens we tend to see or we feel that okay everything should be available in the straight way that straightness will not be there 
it will be crooked they will try to paraphrase please that's the reason we say that you try to what is that get used to this language okay you people need to get used to this language why completely in your listening and reading so it will be completely paraphrased even in listening also when you listen the speaker will be conveying the information in some other way while the uh, this one what is that this person uh, like the question paper will be uh, using different ways of asking the same ideas there so be careful even in on readings also it is what the thing that happens so kindly be very very particular about understanding the sentences idea there by the early 20th century museums had started gaining recognition as the center of knowledge what is that we have so here by the early 20th century museums had started gaining recognition as centers of knowledge the dash had moved from history to art and science okay so the dash had moved so something had moved from history to art and science let us see here hmm. it gained the importance and something moved from history to this one so let tell me tell me what you people want to check it out go through oh i have given part b sorry hmm. party good yes what happened anuradha and uh, so kindly tell me uh, like you can post your answers so it's focus i could see one answer as focus what about others focus okay so museum ahmed has given museum museums rohan also has given he shifted something shifted guys from history to science what is that if you see in late 19th and 18th uh, uh, early 20th centuries societies began to regard museums as the center of production of new knowledge historical museums shifted focus to display scientific discoveries and artistic that means before it was a historical museum okay but now what is it it, it shifted its focus what did it do it shifted its focus to display scientific discoveries so what does that means it's uh, the museum's focus shifted from historical to this one so it has to be what so only focus what it should be so it should be only focus right no museums they are talking about museum only museum something shifted okay museum something shifted so they are talking about right during next during this century with urbanization and more funds coming in so that means because of urbanization and more funds coming in museums were modified to provide learning as well as dash what did museum uh, did so museums were modified to provide learning as well as something else it seems because of the funds and the urbanization so museums not only became a center of learning but also it became something else so now kindly go through and tell me what it has to be entertainment okay so i could see few people answering entertainment yes see where it is i'll show those who have culture okay i could see culture also let me tell what has happened here so yes collection of research over the 20 years as the city is increased what does that means urbanization see so nicely here what we think oh city is increased in size why that idea is not there so this implies urbanization city's development so that means what 
urbanization. They were sh shaped by public reasons of education and entertainment. Okay, see, urbanization, wealth, wealth in the sense, so funds also increased. So the urbanization did happen because of which, so these places, these museums were shaped for public response to education as well as entertainment. Okay. So what is this entertainment? Already education they have given. So now you need to talk about your entertainment. Okay. So therefore, so provide learning. Learning is nothing but education. So as well as, so your, uh, this one, what is that? Entertainment. Got it? Are you guys clear about summary how to do? Yes. See, same way, see, table completion and all these things, we work in the same very manner, okay? So, in this type of questions, so it could be, uh, this one, what is that? Labeling the diagram, summary, table completion, flow chart. So, it could be any, uh, these type of question. The first thing that you people need to see is, so the heading, they give the clue here. Okay, so they either give the clue on what they are, uh, this one, what is that, summarizing or on what they are uh, discussing on the table or something like that, you will be getting the clue as a heading. But in some cases, if you don't get this clue, try to see on, this is for characteristics, on what they are comparing here. So what is that you have? So you need to see that on what they are comparing here. So disorder and the personality trait. That means they are talking about different disorders. And what is that features or the traits or your, this one, what is that personality trait that is exhibited by sufferer? That means what kind of behavior, trait in the sense what? It could be feature, it could be behavior of a person. So who is having this disorder? Okay. So now in this table, what you people need to see? You need to see your, what is this? This is your question. Autism spectrum disorders. So feature exhibited by a patient is the question. That means you try to convert. If you are getting so uh, this one confused, you just try to convert it in terms of fill in the blanks. That means the important characteristic of a person suffering from autism spectrum disorder okay so now you will get that idea this is how you need to recreate the question okay when you start recreating the question basically what happens so you will be seeing that so you, you will be basically what is that getting the idea you will understand you will paraphrase the question there so let us see the autism spectrum disorder so will have a characteristic where a person who is suffering from this will excel in activities. Excel in the sense they will do good in activities of some nature. Some characteristic activities they will be doing good. What kind of characteristic uh, of that activity where these people, ASD uh, sufferers will do good. Okay, so let us try to see. Where we have, okay, ASD is here. Okay, now what you need to see? You need to see on what type of things these ASD people will be doing good here. Okay, so just go. You have a, a spot. Okay, so you can see it is given. People with ASD can be good at creative activities. What it is? creative activities like art, music, and pottery. Don't try to write art, music, and poetry because they are individual activities. What they are asking, they are asking for what is the nature of the activities. That means what kind of activities they will be good at. It is the creative activities. What it is? So may excel in activities of a creative nature what you you should write here it is not creativity 
if you write creativity it is wrong why creativity nature is not the right collocation it should be what creative nature may excel in activities of a creative nature what you need to present then you should be of creative nature okay next add attention deficit disorder okay now you people need to tell me attention deficit and also write what not more than three words that means up to three words you can write attention deficit disorder may appear dash so what what is the feature of a person who is having this attention deficit disorder now get back to the question here where we have oh we have adhd so see here we have anywhere add so yes attention deficit disorder we have try to grow th this one so these children are sometimes described as at attention deficit disorder which children get back to this they may also have getting on the problem with others some children have significant problems with concentration and attention but are not necessarily over active or impulsive these children are sometimes described as this 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 can be easily missed that means what so attention deficit disorder can be easily missed why because what is the characteristic of that person the person becomes quite quiet and dreamy than disruptive okay very good guys everyone gave correct answer quiet and dreamy very very nice so quiet and dreamy very good this is how you need to work on see so easy it is isn't it so if you follow the techniques properly nobody can stop you from getting the scores guys and never these reading passages nothing is difficult as for my uh, this one so nothing is impossible or nothing is difficult everything is easy but only the method that we need to follow here and the dedication and ample practice if you don't do all these things definitely it sounds to be difficult okay so you you would have seen people coming out okay the same question paper in uh, see in your uh, this one what is that graduate exams or in your schooling exams and all you will see two three types of people isn't it so as soon as they see the question paper they do the exam and they come out some people will be saying it's very easy some people will be saying it's tough some people will be saying okay 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 so why is that three different uh, this one ideologies about the one paper because it depends on the students okay how they have practiced how much knowledge they have a student who has practiced well and with great knowledge feel it as easy a student who has not touched only on only a day before the exam the one who has touched for them so it is like Uh, the question paper would be very very hard they feel that oh this is not there that is not there that was not given why they don't know what the syllabus is so in the same way here also this is very easy to crack okay only what you need to do you need to have a right method and along with the right method i also want you people to practice okay until you now right now you feel that oh this is the method we can do it you will be very confident but if this this confidence will not persist until you practice okay why because you need to get that smoothness right so on your uh, practice so that is very important now let me go to the another question schizophrenia okay what is another question we have schizophrenia so what is this happens your schizophrenia may respond to experiencing episodes of disease by behaving in very dash so that means when this schizophrenia episodes comes the uh, person who is suffering from this disease may behave in dash manner what is that let us try to check it out so schizophrenia we have here yes how they behave we need to when they get this episodes okay episodes means when they get this attacks how they behave this is what the question is kindly find out before ah oh, yes unusual ways yes amad why it is uh, outside world 
behave they are asking the characteristic of behavior okay so what is that uh, here we have so they are asking the uh, this one what is that uh, the thing as uh, like how they behave how can they behave outside the world no right so it has to be what unusual ways what it has to be it has to be unusual ways there see when you pick the answer also try to see how you can evaluate whether an answer is correct or wrong so you can frame it in the sentence you can read so if it is not giving sense that means it is understood that your answer is wrong okay so therefore always you need to have this evaluation knowledge also that means when you pick up something and you try to plug in so it should make sense if it is not making sense then it is not your this one so therefore you can see here so they may lose touch with reality see or hear things that are not there and act in unusual ways okay what is that they act in unusual ways in response to these hallucinations what is that to the hallucinations they act in an unusual way okay so the next thing that we have here is what depression okay what is the next thing that we have depression so here guys the third answer is unusual ways okay next up, may experience a feeling of futility that lead to thoughts of something so they feel very delicate they feel futility that means helpless so they feel they can't do anything it's out of the thing that is futility so that means that sensitive um, thing they feel and uh, that lead to thoughts of something so because of this helplessness because of this what is that uh, this one uh, defeat so they start thinking something it seems what is that thing okay so let us try to see uh, uh what is that depression right so depression yes see and tell me what they feel like doing here See, you may also experience tearfulness, but this one, all this what? Futility. We are feeling all this thing, helplessness. This is what? Futility. Because of which, so one may feel not worth leaving. So that is plan or attempt to suicide. So that means because of the futility, what will happen? That leads to the thought of what? Suicide. And uh, that is depression then obsessive compulsive disorder the next thing that we have here is what obsessive compulsive disorder ocd okay so may frequently they have no uh this one so no blank okay we are done so this is how you people need to do table so everyone understood with regards to table any yes. doubts here good good guys now let us try to do the flow chart here also guys flow chart is easiest i'm telling you see when you get, I, I wish you people need to get more such kind of questions in your exam with very little effort you people can and also you can see uh, the uh, if you start the paragraph so from there the continuous flow of information will happen for all this it could be summary it could be this one so it goes in sequence there okay sorry guys so choose no more than three words for each answer now we are also what always read this instruction okay it is mandate for you to read this instruction what it is saying you should not choose uh, more than three words that means maximum three words so minimum what is that uh, uh, minimum minimum maximum uh, maximum three words minimum one word you can have so we don't know see anywhere did you even see what the paragraph is just we are coming directly to question depending upon the question we are going and searching in the paragraph this is the beauty of this method did you you even see like what happened in the paragraph 
do you people even know that no so but if we read the paragraph first and then approach the question don't you think we'll be wasting the time now you may wonder ma'am why we'll be wasting the time even though you go through the passage now when you come back to the question again you need to get back to the passage again you need to read why double time reading instead you can actually go through once and that too we don't want every idea here okay so initially when you read the complete passage you end up what is that uh, this one what is that i can say you end up uh, looking at the complete this one so but here what is happening so if you read the question you know how much to read not everything you will save time you will save your energy you will not get headache also because no over reading is done here okay so what is this so we can say that no over reading because over reading only is one of the deadliest thing that happens on reading part okay so we should not do that over reading so we don't know what exactly it is they are saying two main problems dash and dash let us go and search what we need to search we need to search what are the two main problems they are discussing okay now tell me guys what are the two main problems from this what you need to search in the paragraph you need to search what are the two main problems that we have tell me okay i could see one answer high mechanism you can see they will find a beautiful antiquad that does not look as beautiful as it should but with proper restoration it can be beautiful as the uh, uh, this one doll creates here there are two main problems high mechanism and loose at what are the two problems high mechanism and loose at very good guys so first and second what it has to go it has to go with high mechanism and loose head dash the head from the toes so after they get to know the two problems they do something with the head from the toes so they do something with the head from toes so now we remove the mohair and tell me then we did we dash separated the head from the composition of the body that composition of the body is the torso head so head is basically separated so what should be the answer here yeah. separated very good okay so you need to write the past form only okay then clean the head with chemicals to eliminate dash and dash so they clean the head did sums okay they clean the head so with chemicals to eliminate dash and dash what is that so from the composition body and chemically clean the head removing old dirt and wax what is the answer yes it's old dirt and Works very good, guys. See, so nicely you people are picking up. Now, then, what is that? Damaged teeth fixed with a duplicate set. Okay, the teeth is fixed with a duplicate set, and then they are doing recondition dash and mechanism. They recondition something, and the mechanism let us see what is that dairy condition sorry ha huh. dairy condition and they did something original lie system yes you can write the complete original lie system or just i system is also fine because we are allowed to use three words so therefore you can use so original i system and the, this one here okay and the next thing gave a fresh look to the dash so what happened they gave a fresh look to the dash to what so go go and see what a wonderful difference 
to chemically clean and restyle. So restyle the original mohair fig. So what they did? So they chemically cleaned and they restyled the original mohair wig. Okay. So you can write original mohair wig or original high system in the above one. That is fine. Or just mohair wig also is fine. Very good. So you can write mohair wig or original this one also. Dress the doll in authentic dash of the time. And what they did? They even dress the doll in the authentic dash of the time machine. In authentic what? In what way they dressed? Go here and check it out. Tell me. Tell me, guys. See. A seamstress took out, took a over point with suggestion. Okay. So uh, from the owner on likes and dislike using original period designs. That is authentic is what? The old period. Okay. She now looked, I'm very sure, much as she would have originally looked when the little child loved for that. Okay. So that means what? Basically the clothing design. No. So basically what? So they did. So our seamstress, seamstress means tailor. So they took the solution, uh, this one, and they designed so the objects for the original designs. That means seamstress will stitch the clothes. So therefore, dress doll in authentic clothing. What is that? So we can write. So it is authenticated clothing, we can say. Okay. Clothing design, we can say. Authentic is already there. Clothing design of the type. Okay. Now. Guys, now you people can ask me the questions. So now you people tell me. So we discussed three, four varieties of question now. You people ask me all the questions that you people have with regards to the same. Start asking the question. That's the given I have given you. Seventh question. Okay. So just give me that. Let me, let me share the screen. Just give me one second. I am explaining. Give me a second. I am sharing the screen again. See. Gave a fresh look to the dash. They're asking, so they gave a fresh look to something. See, when you see or uh, open the original high system, reconditioned it, we then did the waxing of the eye examinum, this, 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 with this one. What a wonderful difference to the chemically clean and restyle. So here we have seen restyle. The original mohair wig. See, chemically clean and restyle the original mohair wig. That means they have cleaned and they have restyled it. That means it is giving a kind of so fresh look, right? So, so the things, what is that? The wig has been given with a fresh look. So clean and restyle means what? It is the fresh uh, this one okay so therefore what we can do we can say gave a fresh look to what mohair wig why they restyled also and they cleaned also restyling itself is what they're giving a different look fresh look so we can say that so i hope you understood uh, that okay 
so uh, how can we write the answers for no more than three words and or a number see if three words in no more than three words means you either your answer could be first one or one worded also your answer could be two worded also your answer could be three worded also but so don't write more than three words okay so we have been saying say fresh and uh, clean that is three worded answer okay so and if you have a number okay so just they are saying or a number they are saying that means what so either you give the, the three words or you just give what is that one number that should be the answer yeah last question was what it was asking you so it gave what is that it dressed the doll in authentic dash of the time so dressed means what basically dresses authentic so you can either write what is that authentic is a kind of style authentic clothing isn't it you can write dressed out because there in the sentence also you people saw seamstress also made it a point for designing and everything is there so therefore what dress the doll in authentic uh, clothing of the time you can write authentic clothing of the time or authentic design of the time you can take that answer yes i guess i explained that yeah next any question clothing dress is not there in the paragraph so but what is that it is not you should understand what is that we have so let me share see that is what the english is it's not that what did i say always you don't have all the words there our seem strength took over point with suggestion from the owner on likes and dislike using original period designs okay so that means seamstress is who tailor isn't it so seamstress is tailor and dressed is there dressed in the sense what it is it is clothing only so therefore what either authentic authentic is original period so either you can give designs or basically so seamstress is involved here so you have to give clothing designs what you need to do so you need to give clothing designs there got it who is asking for number they are saying either three words or numbers arun it is not like what is that you need to combine and write if you have to combine and write they won't give that instruction only getting it and when you are using number no need of using the words there so it's a, da a date right you should write 3 01 2000 why you will write 3 january there you can write this as 3 hyphen 01 so 2000 that is a number it's a complete number you can write in the form of date right date is one number no writing january and all january first month how do you write the name ayyo that is one complete date it is not two numbers three numbers uh, uh, arun so they are not saying like you need to have only one number or two number a number in the sense that complete figure numerical we consider the complete numerical there a number in the sense 10000 is considered one number
that's what a number means what guys why you are getting confused a number means date is one single number 25 is one single number 1025 is single number 2014 is a single number that's it okay we did in the last question so you can't write one single number means 1 2 3 4 no <laughs> see number means kindly number means what is that whatever they if they are asking the date please write date if they are asking the year you write only the year if they are asking so they consider that complete thing as one number guys no other confusions here okay you should not write in the beginning of the class only i said no writing all the answers in capital letters you are not supposed to write everything in capital letters you should not start every what is that a uh, word with capital letter why because you will be seeing that so as per the requirement of the uh, this one answer you need to go if it is only proper noun you or if the sentence is starting so from the capital word only there you need to use the capital words otherwise use the small letters okay don't write everything but that means you need to you remember that it is english language exam so you should maintain that grammatical requirement you cannot write everything in bold letters you cannot write everything uh, like what is that with small letters depending upon if you are if you are giving if your answer is a proper noun you need to start with the capital letters if your answer is the start of the sentence then you need to give the capital letter there starting but rest of the other things should be with the small letters lower case theek okay? hai now any more doubts uh it depends on you shalini but however when it comes to a uh, reading and uh, listening i would rather say that uh, pen and pe uh, pen and paper based is good than computer based but if you need if you need to get uh, this one what is that uh, results and all early if you want to uh, get quickly so then you have to pick up computer based uh would considered as one number yes it is a date so it will be considered as one number they will be asking the date date in the sense what you need to mention that complete thing you cannot just write 01 you can't write 01 is not representing the this one and when they need this numbers years and all they will not mention uh, uh, this one only what is that number why they say only or a number means you don't want to mix the words with that number or with, along with this words you should not mix your number that is the reason they give this differentiation what is that either words or number why because they don't want you to mix these both things getting it yes any other doubts you people have okay then so okay okay then guys tomorrow we'll see you for uh, heading questions and many more uh, this one what is that if our answer happens to be pacific avenue see pacific avenue is a proper noun pacific avenue it is a name capital a should come the names how you will give i said the first letter should be there pacific avenue it is the name of a thing so therefore it should be capital a there when we are appearing for writing exam through paper based will marks get deducted if we cut very much that is the reason we say use pencils no overwriting if you overwrite if you scratch if you scribble so everything goes this marks will go there 
even on reading also if you do that scratching and writing so don't use pens guys use everyone use pencils on your main exam also so you practice from now only in writing in pencils okay and even your handwriting should be neat and uh, it should be legible one one should understand what you people have written then you take pen and paper based test otherwise so it's better you people take computer based test if your handwriting is not legible it is not clear if you make lots of cuts and everything so it is better that you people take your this one yeah since it is a name pacific avenue if you give an uh, this one so it is see i need to see the context prashant you are just pacific avenue if you see it is two word at thing it is two word pacific is one word and avenue is one word if you put a iphone in between then it is one single word it's a proper noun but it has two words in it south america is a proper noun but it has two words united states of america is a proper noun but three words in it i am saying proper noun to make sure that your first letter should be capital not for the i am not saying every proper noun is a one worded please understand the context you people were asking me for the like what is that how to write when to use capital when not to use capital and you guys had the doubt on number and this one now don't compare your capital letters with the proper noun uh this one number of words it is easily understood if you are writing pacific and avenue two worded thing if you give iphone it is what it will be single worded and pacific avenue if it is a name definitely it is a name so it is a proper noun yes definitely you need to start the letter starting with p and it's not like all proper nouns are single worded we have not said quoted that please don't combine the questions here okay understand what is the question you guys asked and what is the answer that you people have received for that and follow that particular thing right any other queries okay guys thank you shalini bye guys we'll see you tomorrow with more types of questions and more discussions okay right over to you admin thank you so much ma'am all right so guys i have shared the telegram channel link of alts and the coupon code using which you can upgrade yourself from basic to bronze membership so uh, you can just use these uh, things and just join the telegram channel for more information and also for uh, mock tests and as i uh, mentioned before as well you can always uh, make use of special features that's there on the obergrad website as in the one on one ielts classes which is just for rupees 599 and you get benefits like 20 hours live classes class recordings class dd class worksheets 10 plus sessional tests five full length mocks so if you are wanting to practice more you can always avail this facility and also the facility uh, which i mentioned before which was a free profile evaluation which is done by our experts so anything else that you want to know guys anything that you want to know any doubts from your side all right so i don't think so there are questions from your side uh, no we just have the coupon code for uh,
upgrading from basic to bronze. All right, so uh, you can just check out the um, website of Ubergrad. And over there, Ahmed, uh, you can just check it out that the gold membership would be available to you at 499. And for bronze, it would be available to you at uh, 1499. So all of them are at discounted rates only because initially the gold price was uh, 999 and now we have it for 499. So you can always avail the facility of that as well. All right, so any other questions, guys? All right, so I don't think so. Any questions from you guys? So we'll just close the call for today and we'll meet tomorrow for the fifth session. That, that would be the last session for reading. So thank for this week. Yeah, thank you so much, guys, for joining.